Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So in the promises, uh, one more concept that we are going to talk about today is the promise.any. So this is like a promise.race, but the promise.any means it's used for handling multiple promises and resolving with the value of the first fulfilled promise. Fulfill means, I'll write it here, the first resolved promise. Similar to promise.race, but Unlike promise.raise, promise.any does not reject the promise immediately when the first promise rejects. Okay. Instead, it waits until at least one promise fulfills or result. So what does it mean? It means that it will result or it will wait until the first promise is fulfilled or resolved. Okay. If all the promises are getting rejected, then it will give me the combined result of all the rejection promises in the form of array. But it will always return me if any of the promise is getting fulfilled. But make sure that it will always return the first resolved promise. For example, you will understand better when I give you the example like this. For example, three methods that I have created. Get message function, get users and get products. Get message is resolved within 500 milliseconds get user is rejected within 200 milliseconds and get products a function is rejected within 1000 milliseconds here so we know that okay this error uh, promise which is rejected here it is getting resolved within or it is getting rejected within 200 milliseconds so in that case what will happen in that case ideally if you write promise dot race this guy is winning the race but in case of promise dot any it will not return the get users or this particular rejected promise. Why? Because there is another after 500 milliseconds, this function is getting resolved and then it will return this one, right? So it will always wait for the first resolved or fulfilled promise. So let's see, I'm writing it here that promise.any and in the form of array, I'm calling these three functions one by one message, get user and get products. If first one is any of them is getting fulfilled, store it in this particular result and print a message here with the result value. If any errors are coming or all the promises are getting rejected, then I'm writing all promises rejected and errors. So it will come inside the catch handler or catch block only when all the promises are rejected. We'll log all the rejection reasons if all promises reject. If any of them is getting successful or resolved, then it will come inside that. It doesn't matter that before the successful one, it is rejected also getting executed or rejected also getting returned. So for in this example, if you see that we know that 200 milliseconds immediately will be called because it's taking less amount of time. So this guy is winning the race, but it will not be returned over here. It will always return the fulfilled one here, right? So let's do one thing. Let's run it and then let's see, is it really working or not? So I'll go to my terminal and then I'm going to run it here. So node promise any.js that I'm running it. And let's see, it says, yeah, first successful result message from API one from here. Although this one got executed within 200 milliseconds, but it still is going to wait for the successful promise here. Now I'll do one thing that uh, all the promises are getting resolved. So I'll write resolve here also, resolve uh, here also, and uh, resolve here also. All right. So in that case, uh, which one will be coming first? This guy will be coming first with the message, whatever the message here that you are passing. So for example, let's see if I'm passing that a pass get users also from here. So now it will check that which one is all are running first. I mean, all are getting fulfilled. Which one is running first? This one. So get users will be returned over here. So let's run it again. And you can see that pass get users coming from here because this guy is immediately getting result and winning the race here. Right. So I'll do one thing again back to this uh, reject only. Now I'll do one thing. Everything is getting rejected. Nothing is getting resolved. All three functions are giving me the rejected promise. So now what exactly? It will return. In that case, it will return everything together. That's why it will come inside the catch block. It will return the kind of errors kind of array and will log all the rejection reasons if all promises reject. Remember this thing. Okay. So let's see. But in project, uh, in promise dot race, what we have seen, which one is winning the race? Either it is fulfilled one or the rejected one, which will be returned. That will be returned in the promise dot race here. But in promise dot any means, 
it is always giving me the the first resolved promise if everything is getting rejected give me the combined result of all the rejected promises here okay so let's run it and let's see so here you can see that yes it's coming inside this and it's printing this message here all promises rejected with this an aggregated error we are getting all promises were rejected over here like that so i hope this is uh, clear with respect to uh, promise.any so if you have certain use cases that you are going to uh, wait for the specific or in the first any random uh, promise which is getting uh, fulfilled immediately and uh, winning the race in that case in those use cases you can use that or if you see that okay yeah all my promises are getting rejected give me the aggregate report of all the rejected errors it will give you over here this so this is promise.any that's it so people might ask you the difference between promise.race and promise.any i hope this is clear now so that's all for this video i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all guys